fine please submit the assignment after your exams okay and in the last test you scored 10.5 so that's fine uh, but uh, you need more practice in this chapter okay so yesterday we have completed the indefinite integral so please check the recorded lectures and we have already started the uh, definite integral okay so i will give you a quick quick introduction for the definite integral definite integral okay so you already know what is the integral of this cos x dot dx okay in definite in integral we have a limit like this this is the lower limit okay and this is the upper limit so how we solve this definite integral what is the integral of cos x sin x okay then you write the bracket like this here you write the upper limit here you write the lower limit then you put the upper and the lower limit so you get here sin pi by 2 minus sin 0 so sin pi by 2 is what 1 minus 0 so this is 1 okay so in definite in definite integrals what you have you have upper limit and the lower limit you have to integrate the function then you have to put the upper and the lower limit and there is no constant of integration in definite integral okay so if you wish you can note down this then raise your hands once it is done i will uh, start a new topic with you that is a definite integral by substitution method please note down this and raise your hands once it is done Is it done, Josef? Okay, great. Okay, uh, Nabil, uh, I'm waiting for other students. Okay, so just give me one or two minutes. If they will not join, we will uh, continue our last topic. Uh, then, uh, Josef, we have a next method, which is definite integral by substitution. Integration by substitution. Uh, Nabil, uh, I'm just um, teaching you the Sefer, the topic which we have done yesterday. Okay, so just give me two minutes. Definite integral by substitution. Now, suppose if you have a function like this, 2x by 1 plus x square, and here you have 3, here you have a 4. Okay, so this function we have to integrate by substitution. So we will assume let t is equal to 1 plus x square. So dt by dx, what we will get here? is equal to twice of x so that means dt is equal to 2x dot dx so here you will get what dt by t now in indefinite integral how we solve this function we completely integrate it then we again put the value of t okay but in definite integral we have one more option that we change our limit as per this one okay so we have this one t is equal to 1 plus x square when x is equal to 3, what the value of t we will get? 1 plus 3 square. So, which will give us 10. And when x is equal to 4, then t is equal to what? 1 plus 4 square. So, this will give us 17. Okay. So, we have changed this upper and the lower limit. Lower limit we get a 10. Upper limit we get 17. Now integrate it. Okay. So what's the integral of 1 by d? It is log mod t. Then the bracket, write this limit 17, 10. Open this, you will get log mod 17 minus log mod 10, which is log 17 minus log 10. So you will get log 17 by 10. Okay. 
So in substitution, what we do, we change the limit as per the variable t. Okay, there is no need to again put the value of t. It is better to change our limit. So, Josefa, please uh, note down this. Confirm me if it is done. Then we will continue. We will start a new topic. Uh, is it done, Josef? Okay, great. Now, we will start our next topic. Next is properties of properties of definite integrals. Okay, there are some properties. So, properties of definite integral. Okay, the first property is we have A to B fx dot dx is equal to a to b ft dot dt. Okay, so that means definite integral is independent of change of variable. So we will write definite integral, definite integral is independent, is independent of change of variable of change of variable okay so what does this mean this means if you have this 0 to pi by 2 cos x dot dx or you have 0 to pi by 2 cos t dot dt cos t dot dt okay if you will see here, you have cos x dot dx. Here the variable is x, here the variable is t, but the function and the limits are same. Now, if you will integrate this, what you will get sin x? And the limit is 0 to pi by 2. Put this, so you will get sin pi by 2 minus sin 0. Okay, so here sin pi by 2 is 1, sin 0 is 0. So you will get the final answer as a 1. We will check this. Integral of cos t is sin t. Limits is 0 to pi by 2. Here we get a sin pi by 2. Here we have a 0. So we get a 1 here. Okay. So you can see in both the cases the answer is same. So that means definite integral does not depend on the variable. You have a x or you have a t. If you have the same limit and the function is same, then your answer will be equal. Okay, so I hope this is clear to both of you. Please note down this, raise your hands once it is done, then we will check the next property. In case of any doubt, please let me know. I will again explain this to you. Okay, so far very good. Nabil, is it done? Uh, Nabil, please let me know once it is completed. Okay, great. Now next one. Second, second property. Second property is if you have a to b fx dot dx. Okay. Now if you interchange these limits, so if you will write b to a. Earlier it was a to b, now it is b to a fx dot dx. Then what will happen here? You will get a negative sign. Okay. Earlier it was a to b, now it is b to a. So what the change we will get here? We will get a negative sign. 
okay i will give you an example for example if you have a limit one to two uh x square uh, x dot dx or i will write two x dot dx okay now solve this what you will get integrated so two x square by two okay two to one sorry one to two this will cancel out to x square one to two so this is two square minus one square so you will get four minus one which is equal to three next now write two to one okay change these upper and lower limit interchange these upper and lower limits now integrate it you again get the same function 2x square by 2 it is now 2 to 1 here you get x square you get here 2 to 1 now put the upper and the lower limit 1 square minus 2 square so this will give you 1 minus 4 which will give you minus 3 now please check here here you have a 3 here you have a minus 3 okay so if you are interchanging the limits and what the difference uh what is the difference between these two values the sign will change okay so i hope this is clear to both of you now please note down this again raise your hand then we will start the third property okay and let me know if you have any doubt in these properties properties of definite integrals are very very important okay so if you have any doubt in any other property please let me know Please uh, confirm me, raise your hands if it is done. We will start the third property. Uh, Nabil and Josefa, shall we start next? Yes. Okay. Josefa, is it done? Uh, Josefa, okay, great. Now, next one, third property. Okay. Third property is A to B. This is very, very important property. Okay. You, you can normally see questions from this property in your final exams fx dot dx so this is a to b f a plus b minus x dot dx okay so if you have limit a to b fx dot dx then you can write it like this also a to b f a plus b minus x both have the same value okay so we will check what type of questions we can get from uh, this property for example if we have 0 to pi by 2 okay and we have a question like this sine x by sine x plus cos x okay dot dx if you will see this question if you will try to solve this directly then please check this question becomes so much complicated if you will try to solve this question directly it is very very a complicated question Okay, now we will apply this property and see how this question 
can be simplified. First of all, we will write like this. Let i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Okay, sine x dot dx by sine x plus cos x. Okay, so i is equal to this one. Now, apply this property, this one. So, let this be 1. Okay, I've already marked 1 here. I will write 1 here, okay. Now, apply this property. What is the property? We will write 0 to pi by 2. Then, f a plus b minus x means sine a plus b. So, that means pi by 2 plus 0 minus x by sine pi by 2 plus 0 minus x plus cos pi by 2 plus 0 minus x. i is equal to this is 0 to pi by 2. So here in the numerator we will get a cos x and in the denominator we have a cos x plus sin x. Okay. Now let this be 2. Add 1 into. Okay. So what you will get? If you will add this on the left side you will get a 2i. Okay, please check here. In 1, here you have i. In 2, here you have i. So we will add 1 into, we get 2i. Next, 0 to pi, this is 1, 0 to pi by 2, sine pi cos. 0 to pi by 2, sine x by sine x plus cos x dot dx. Okay, this is 0 to pi by 2 plus. Here it is 0 to pi by 2. Okay. If you will see the second one. This is the second one. Here you have cos by cos plus sine. Cos x by sine plus cos. Sine x plus cos x dot dx. Okay. What you will get here? 2i is equal to. Now add these two. So this is the integral. Okay. And you can write this a common function like this, sin x by sin x plus cos x. And then you can write the next term, which is cos x by sin x plus cos x dot dx. Okay. Then what you will get here, 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Okay. Take the LCM, it is sin x plus cos x. And in the numerator, you will get a sin x plus cos x dot dx okay now check here these two can be cancelled out so finally what you get here 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 okay 1 dot dx now what is the integral of 1 it is 2i is equal to integral of 1 is x so you get a 0 to pi by 2 here so this is 2i is equal to pi by 2 minus 0 so you get here 2i is equal to pi by 2. So i is equal to you get here pi by 4. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. This is your final answer. Okay. So please note down this. Raise your hands once it is done. Okay. I will then change the slide. In case you have any doubt in this question or property, please let me know. It's a very, very important question. Uh, please let me know once uh, whenever I need to change the slide.
Okay, Nabil, very good. Josefa, is it done? Shall I change the slide? Okay. Now, please note on this and raise your hands. Uh, is it done? Nabil and Huzefa, shall I give you another question? Okay, Huzefa. Nabil, is it done? Okay, great. Now, next one. Question number two. Okay, try to solve this 0 to pi by 2. Okay, and in the end, I will tell you that how we, you will judge that in this these type of question this property will be applied and i will also give you a shortcut to solve these questions but please don't use in exam you can use it to check your answer okay now please try this question and share your answer
please let me know if you get the final answer for this. Uh, is it done, Nabil and Huzafa? This is a simple question. Is it done, Nabil? Okay, Huzafa, very good. Huzafa, what the answer you are getting?
Zephyr, what's the answer you're getting? And Nabil, is it done? No, sir. Okay, any problem, uh, Nabil? No, sir, just a second. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Zephyr, if it is done, then please share your answer. No, no, no. This is this is not the right answer. Answer is very simple. Okay. Please do in the same way as I have done the previous question. Okay. Apply the same property. Assume this. Let i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Root sin x. Okay. After 2 and 3 question, you can tell me in 5 seconds that what will be the answer of this question. Okay. Please don't. No, 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 no. Please don't make this question complicated okay do the same thing i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 root sine pi by 2 minus x in the denominator right root sine pi by 2 minus x here also right root cos pi by 2 minus x okay dot dx Sir, is it oh. 5 by 4? Very, very good, Nabil. It is correct. Okay, Uzefa, please uh, complete this question in 2-3 minutes. Open this. Add this. Let this be 1. Add 1 and 2 and find out the answer. Zephyr, you get the answer now. Yes, it is five by four. Good as far. Now please try next question. Question number three. Zero to pi by two. Sin x minus cos x by one plus sin x into cos x. Dot dx. Please try this and share your answer.
it is also a, a simple question okay please try to complete this in further two three minutes Uh, is it done, Josefa and Nabil? Please let me know. It's a very simple question. Um, if so you can have... you solve it? Yes, yes, I can solve. Okay, this is a very simple question. Apply the same method. 0 to pi by 2. Okay, then you have here uh, sine x minus cos x. Sine x minus cos x by 1 plus sine x into cos x dot dx okay apply the same property you will get here 0 to pi by 2 sine pi by 2 minus x minus cos pi by 2 minus x and the denominator you have 1 plus sine pi by 2 minus x and here you have cos pi by 2 minus x This is i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Here you will get cos x minus sin x by 1 plus cos into sin. Okay. Now please, this be 2 and this is 1. Now Nabil, add 1 and 2. Okay. Add 1 and 2, you will get your answer. Please uh, share your answer once it is done. Sir, answer is zero. Answer is zero. Very, very good. Uh, who get the answer? Me, sir, Nabil. Oh, okay, Nabil, good. Josefa, is it done? Is it done, Josefa? Oh, okay, Josefa, take your time. In the meantime, uh, I will give a new question. Okay, 
once uh, Josefa, you will complete the third question. Please try this one. Zephyr, you have completed the last question. Answer is zero. No. Uh, please check here. Okay, now add one and two. So when you will add it, on left side you will get two i. Here you have 0, pi by 2, denominator is same. So all the terms will get added as it is. So in the numerator, you will get sine x minus cos x plus cos x minus sine x, okay, dot dx. So what will happen? Sine will get cancelled out, cos will get cancelled out. So you will get a 0 here. So 2i is equal to? 0 to pi by 2, 0 dot dx. So this will give you 0. Is it clear, Josefa? Okay, great. Now please start this one, fourth one, and share your answer. Please let me know if you have any doubt here.
please let me know if you need a hint in this question. Is it done, Nabil and Huzefa? Nabil and Huzefa, is it done? Sir, is it uh... Uh, What's the answer, Nabil? Nabil, what is the answer? Please let me know if you have any problem here, then I will give you the hint. Uh, Josefa, you are very close to this, not pi by six, it is pi by 12. So maybe you have missed to shift that to on the right side. On the left side, you will get a two I. So shift this on the right side. And Nabil, is it done? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the answer? Uh, I'm getting pi by 12. Very good, very good, Nabil. It is pi by 12. How you solve this, Nabil? Nabil uh, how... Using uh, sine by very pi by good. 2 minus theta. Very good, very good. It is correct. Josefa, which method you have used here? Substitution, uh, not sure uh, how you have done that to Zephyr, but you have to do like this, pi by six, pi by three dx, and the denominator right one plus root sine x by cos x. Okay. Now this root x will be shift in the numerator. So you will get this pi by six, pi by three. Here you will get root cos x dot dx by root cos x plus sin x okay so the same type of question we have already completed so Zephyr, uh, you have used this method Zephyr, you, you took tan x st no 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 it will become very very complicated okay so because we don't have any second square here so Zephyr, please use this method now apply this let this be one now please apply the same property which we are using, okay? And share your final answer with me. And please do this in two, three minutes.
uh, Josefa, is it done now? Okay, very, very good. So I will give you a next question, question number fifth. Please try this one, zero to pi by two. Okay, log tan x dot dx. And this question came in CBSE 2007, okay? Please complete it and share your answer. And let me know if you have any doubt, then I will help. Uh, please let me know if you have any doubt in this question. This is also a very simple question. Okay. Not more than five or six steps.
uh, Nabil and Huzefa, is it done? Hmm? Please do in this way, let i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. This is a very simple question. Log tan x dot dx. Okay, again apply the same property and add 1 into it. Let this be 1. And whenever you are applying the property, please write the property in the bracket. Okay. Minus x dot dx. Now please solve this. Uh, no. I is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log cot x dot dx. Now add 1 into add 1 into so what you will get here 2i is equal to 0. zero. Very good. Who get the answer? Nabil. Very good. Josefa, do you get the answer? Josefa, you get the answer? Okay. Now, Josefa, just add these two and use the property of log. Okay. So you are adding these two. Now, please do this, Josefa, and confirm me the answer in two minutes. Very good, Joseph. It is correct. Now, next one. Question number six. Please try this. 0 to pi by 4. Log 1 plus tan x. Log 1 plus tan x dot dx. Okay. Uh, this question is there in NCRD. This question came in 2002, compartment, then 2003, then 2004, then 2011, then 2013. Okay, so you can say this is a very, very important question. And it is also there in NCRT. So please complete it and let me know once it is done. Okay.
please let me know if you strike some view. Sir, pi by eight log two. Uh, very good, Nabil. Very good. It is correct. Good. Uh, Josefa, is it done? Josefa, is it done? Okay, okay. Uh, no, Zephyr, not pi by 8. Uh, please check here. Let i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus tan x dot x. So i is equal to put again the same formula 0 to 5 pi by 4 log with this property 1 plus tan pi by 4 minus x. So i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log. Now open this formula, tan a minus b. So it is tan a minus tan b by tan a plus tan b. Tan a, sorry. 1 plus tan a into tan b. Okay dot dx so here you will get what i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log in the bracket you will get 1 plus 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x dot dx so here you will get i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 okay log and the bracket write 1 plus tan x here write 1 plus tan x plus 1 minus tan x dot x. So here you will get i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log. Here tan will get cancelled out. You will get log 2 by 1 plus tan x. So here i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 
open this so use the property of log so log 2 minus log 1 plus tan x 1 plus tan x okay dot dx now we need to integrate both these functions so write it in this way i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 okay we need to integrate this log 2 dot dx minus log 1 plus tan x okay integral 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus tan x dot dx now Zephyr, if you will see this log 1 plus tan x 0 to pi by 4 okay and if you will see our original this one so this is nothing this is i so in place of this you can put i so 0 to pi by 4 log 2 dot dx okay minus i shift this i to the left side you will get 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 now integrate this so log 2 is a constant 0 to pi by 4 1 dot dx so write 2i is equal to log 2 and integral of x 1 is x 0 to pi by 4 so 2i is equal to log 2 into pi by 4 shift this to here so i is equal to pi by 8 this become pi by 8 log 2 so Josefa, did you miss this log 2 you have used the same method Josefa? okay 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 then we will start the next question Josefa. i hope uh, there is no need for you to note it down so next is question seventh just give me a minute. Uh, next is 0 to pi by 2. 0 to pi by 2. 2 log sin x. 2 log sin x minus log sin 2x dot dx. Okay. Uh, this question came in CBSE 2009. CBSE 2009. And this is also there in NCRT. Please complete this. I'm just coming back in two minutes. Okay.
Okay, uh, I'm back. If anyone have a doubt, please let me know. Uh, Zephyr and Nabil, any doubt in this one? Do you need the help? Nabil and Zephyr, are you still doing this question? Okay, Zephyr and Nabil, do you need hint? Nabil?
all of you uh, please let me know in case of any doubt Zephyr, is it done? Okay, Zephyr, any problem in this question? Okay, please check here, let i is equal to zero to pi by two. Okay, and here you have two log sine x minus here you have log sine two x dot dx okay then i is equal to zero to pi by two here you have two log sine x okay minus minus uh this is sine two x okay then we will put the formula two sine x into cos x dot dx so i is equal to you have zero to pi by two this is two log sine x minus log two sine x cos x is log two okay we will apply the formula of log sine x plus log cos x okay dot dx so here you will get i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Here you have 2 log sine x minus log 2 minus log sine x minus log cos x dot dx. So i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Now here you have 2 log sine x and here you have log sine x. So these two will get subtracted and you will get log sine x minus here you have log 2 so that is fine then minus here you have log cos x okay dot dx now we will open this so what you will get here i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 okay log sine x log sine x dot dx minus 0 to pi by 2 log 2 dot dx then minus 0 to pi by 2 minus 0 to pi by 2 log cos x dot dx okay so what you will get here i is equal to now please check this one this and this if we will apply the same property here uh leave it as it is pi by two right here log sine x dot dx 
minus okay i will write this here 0 to pi by 2 uh, at this place cos x dot dx i will write this property log cos pi by 2 minus x dot dx minus 0 to pi by 2 log 2 dot dx so here you will get i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dot dx minus here you will get 0 to pi by 2 log cos pi by 2 minus x is sin x dot dx minus here you have 0 to pi by 2 log 2 dot dx okay so this will get cancelled out what you will get here i is equal to minus i will write log 2 here then 1 dot dx 0 to pi by 2 so i is equal to minus log 2 okay and uh, integrate this one you will get x pi by 2 to 0 0 to pi by 2 i is equal to minus log 2 and here right pi by 2 so finally you will get i is equal to minus pi by 2 log 2 okay so i hope this is clear to everyone please uh, note down this let me know when i need to change the slide Okay, sir. Uh, Josefa, please let me know when you have completed this and I need to change the slide. Okay, Josefa, great. So the final answer is minus pi by 2 log 2. Are you getting the same one? Okay, okay, okay. great, Josefa. Now next question. Next question number eight. Okay, question eight is zero to pi e cos six by e cos six plus e minus cos six dot dx. Please try this, Josefa, and share your answer.
Uh, Josefa, after this question, we will do one more question, then your class will be over. Okay. Uh, please let me know if you have any doubt in this question. Josefa, is it done? Is it done, Josefa? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So if you need the hint, please let me know. 